When I found out that Jason had COVID first, I was actually a mixture of horrified and angry. I was angry. Where were you black starfish love? From there here. After catching COVID in May, anger quickly turned to hope as Helen Christinas and her husband Jason Lau found themselves at the forefront of COVID treatments in Australia. Dr James McMahon called and said, we're actually running a trial with this antiviral drug. Um, it's been tested quite successfully overseas. Would you like to be on it? And I was like, please, bring it on. <laughs> Anything that can help. They're among 120 patients at the Alfred Hospital in Melbourne trialling a new antiviral drug that can be taken at home, called favipiravir. We participated in this trial, uh, which involved us taking 18 pills the first day and eight pills every other day. It's a drug that was developed for the flu and has shown some activity against COVID in some other clinical trials. And if we could find medications that we could give to people early and prevent them getting more unwell and hasten their recovery, uh, that would be a huge advantage. There are currently four main types of COVID treatments available. Steroids and anti-inflammatories attack the symptoms, particularly inflammation of the lungs, but they can only be used in patients with more severe illness. Antivirals attack the virus itself and are more useful early on in the disease. A third category is what's known as monoclonal antibodies. These bolster the patient's immune system and stop the virus from entering cells. They can be used early in the illness when people are at their most infectious. And then there's anticoagulants, which reduce the chance of blood clotting, one of the potential complications of COVID. In March 2020, we were hearing reports from China, from Italy, as to what might work. People were pulling uh, medications off the shelves. So I just wanted to thank you for coming in. And for in the US, Harvard University uh, Associate uh, Professor Arthur Kim is an infectious disease physician treating COVID patients in hospital and trialling new drugs. He says so far there's no single effective treatment for the virus. There are several medications that we're watching very closely and that we hope um, would have an impact. While some drugs like corticosteroids work by suppressing the immune system, some of the more promising treatments globally are those that support it. But they must be administered right at the beginning of the illness to be effective. The main therapy we have is something called monoclonal antibodies, which were developed for um, COVID-19. Your body's immune system is trying to fight off this virus, and that's what an antibodies do. However, right now, they need to be administered in uh, intravenous form or via the vein, and so logistically, it's really challenging to deliver to patients. Monoclonal antibodies were what was used to treat former US President Donald Trump when he became ill with COVID. The technology is also behind the drug Citrovimab, which has just been approved for use in Australia. And we'll be acquiring national stocks of uh, Citrovimab. Um, it's a monoclonal antibody. This uh, medicine is not for everybody. It will be mostly aimed at people that are not vaccinated. Uh, it will be for mostly for people uh, who are at highest risk of severe disease. Uh, and it needs to be given early in the treatment, uh, treatment course. Around the world, there are thousands of potential COVID treatments in various stages of development. The main three drugs approved for use with COVID in Australia now are remdesivir, an antiviral, dexamethasone, a steroid, and tocilizumab, a monoclonal antibody. All must be administered in hospital. There are others still awaiting evidence in clinical trials, including inhaled heparin and the widely hyped and controversial drug ivermectin. Ivermectin is used worldwide for parasitic infections. And yet, uh, as of now, we yet do not have a definitive trial that would show that ivermectin works. And so again, what works in the lab may not work in people. Back in Melbourne, Jason and his wife, Helen, are awaiting the results of the clinical trial they took part in. And they won't know for a while yet whether they took the drug itself or a placebo. We volunteered straight away as soon as they said, you know, you'd want to try it. We said, yeah, why not? When we first caught it and they said, all you can do is manage the symptoms, you'd feel kind of mm. a bit lost at sea because you think, there's nothing they can do for me. Mm. So to have some kind of amazing drug that can reduce your symptoms and the duration that you'll be sick for would be just amazing. 
Professor James McMahon is on the National Task Force evaluating COVID treatments. And he also runs the trial the couple took part in at the Alfred Hospital. If we had a safe, reliable and treatments that we could give early and stop people getting sick, I mean, wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? Um, and we have those treatments for many other conditions. And that's the sort of bar I think we're trying to, to reach. But all experts agree, despite the promising treatments on the horizon, vaccines are still the best first line of defence. In the end, vaccines are really our best, best tool right now because we just want to prevent people from getting sicker and ending up in the hospital. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.